If your Windows 11 is running slow or laggy and want to improve its performance, then don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll walk you through some tips and tricks to speed up your PC and make Windows 11 run faster, boost performance, and make your system run much smoother. Whether you're experiencing slow boot times, apps taking forever to open, or general sluggishness, these simple tweaks can make a huge difference. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. The first step in optimizing Windows 11 is to enable Storage Sense, allowing your computer to run more efficiently. To do this, open the Start menu, then go to Settings. Once inside Settings, navigate to System, then in Storage option, and find the Storage Sense. Turn it on to allow Windows to automatically manage and delete unnecessary files that could be slowing down your system. Next, click on Clean Up Recommendations and then See Advanced Options. Here, you will find several options for removing unwanted files. Make sure to check all the options except Downloads. If you select this option, all the files in your Downloads folder will be erased. Once you've selected everything else, click Remove Files and Windows will clean up temporary files, cache and other clutter from your C drive. This will help free up storage and improve the overall speed of your Windows 11 PC. The next step to improve performance is adjusting your privacy settings. To do this, go to Settings and click on Privacy and Security. Then navigate to General, where you will see several privacy-related options. Here, it's best to turn off all these options to prevent Windows from tracking app launches, showing personalized ads, and collecting other unnecessary data. Once you have disabled those settings, go back to the Privacy and Security menu and select Speech. If you're not using any online speech services, you can turn off online speech recognition to prevent Windows from processing your voice data. Next, go to Inking and Typing Personalization and switch it off if you don't want Windows to collect and analyze your typing data for suggestions. This will help reduce background processes and improve performance. After that, head over to Diagnostic and Feedback and disable Send Optional Diagnostic Data to stop Windows from collecting extra system and usage information. However, if you're part of the Windows Insider program, you will need to keep this option enabled to continue receiving preview updates and features. If you haven't joined the program, turning this off will help enhance privacy and minimize data collection. Go back to Privacy and Security and navigate to App Permissions. Under this section, click on Location. If you're not using any location-based services like Maps or apps that require location access, you can turn it off to prevent Windows from tracking your device's location. Next, return to App Permissions and select Camera. If you don't use a webcam, Zoom calls, or any other video conferencing applications, you can disable camera access to prevent background usage and improve security. However, if you frequently use video calls or other camera-dependent apps, you should keep it enabled. Now, go to Notifications and turn off notification access for apps you don't need alerts from. This will help reduce unnecessary distractions and free up system resources. Next, under App Permissions, click on Messaging. If you don't use the People app or any other messaging services on Windows 11, you can safely disable messaging access to prevent unnecessary background activity. Now, go back to the System section and select Notifications. Scroll down and click on Advanced Settings. Here you'll see an option called Get Tips and Suggestions when using Windows. Uncheck this option to disable it. This will prevent Windows from showing unwanted tips, suggestions, and promoted apps while you're using your system, helping to reduce distractions and improve performance. The next step is to uninstall unwanted apps. Go to the Apps section and click on Installed Apps. Here, review the list of applications and uninstall the ones you no longer use. Windows comes with several pre-installed apps that you might not need so if you find any unnecessary ones, go ahead and remove them. Doing this will free up storage space, disable background services related to those apps, and free up system resources, allowing your computer to run more efficiently. The next step is to disable startup apps. Right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. In the Task Manager window, 
Go to the Startup Apps tab. Here, you'll see a list of applications that launch automatically when your computer starts. Disable any apps that you don't need at startup. This will help improve your system's boot time and overall performance. The next step is to adjust the visual effects on your Windows 11 for better performance. Press Win plus R on your keyboard. Type sysdm.cpl and click OK. This will open the System Properties window. Go to the Advanced tab and click on Settings under the Performance section. Now, select Adjust for best performance to disable unnecessary visual effects. However, to prevent Windows 11 from looking too plain, you should enable a few essential visual effects. I will list these recommended settings in the video description as well. Once you've selected the options you want to keep, click Apply and then OK to save the changes. The next step is to disable the Xbox Game Bar if you don't use it. Open the Start menu, go to Settings and then navigate to the Gaming section. If you don't play games on your Windows 11 PC, you can turn off the Xbox Game Bar to free up system resources. However, if you use it for gaming or screen recording, you should keep it enabled. But if your Windows 11 device is mainly for productivity, disabling it can help improve performance. The next step is to disable unnecessary Windows services that you may not be using. Open the search bar, type services, and open the services app. Once inside, look for specific services that you can disable. First, locate Download Map Manager. If you don't use any map-related applications, you can disable this service. Double-click on it, stop the service if it's running. Set the startup type to disabled and click OK. Next, find IP Helper. If you are not using IPv6, you can disable this service, but if you rely on IPv6, keep it enabled. Now, locate Link Layer Topology Discovery. Double click on it, set the startup type to disabled and click OK. Another service you can disable is telephony. If your computer is not being used for VoIP services or making calls over the internet, you can disable this service. Similarly, search for secondary logon, double click on it and disable this service as well. Another service to consider is Print Spooler. Some suggest disabling it if you don't use a printer. However, I don't recommend it because turning it off will prevent you from saving or printing files as PDFs in Google Chrome, Microsoft Word and other applications. Next, find Windows Image Acquisition. If you don't use a scanner or camera, you can disable this service. Next, locate Geolocation Service. If you're not using any apps that require location access, you can disable this as well. For each of these services, double click on them, set the startup type to disabled, then click apply and OK. I will also list these services in the video description for your reference. The next step is to clean Windows and user temporary files. Press Windows button plus R on your keyboard type temp and click OK. If prompted, click continue. This will open the temporary folder where Windows stores unnecessary files. Select all files and delete them. If some files cannot be deleted, simply skip them. Now, press Windows button plus R again and type percentage temp percentage, then click OK. This will open the user's temporary files folder. The previous step removed Windows temporary files, and now we need to delete the user-specific temporary files. Select all files and folders in this directory and hit delete. If any files cannot be deleted, skip them. Following these steps will help free up disk space and improve the performance of Windows 11. That's it for today's video. If these tips help speed up your Windows 11, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more tech tricks and tutorials. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Stay tuned for more awesome content and I'll catch you in the next one.